Hi, this video will showcase how to fetch table records in a web table. We will fetch values from the Automation Edge Requests menu table. Let us begin. I am in Process Studio. I have created a project and a workflow web loop table. First of all, let us create the parameter for Automation Edge login. Double click on the canvas. On the Parameters tab, let me create a parameter A login. That is Automation Edge login of the type credential. Credentials are generally runtime false. That is, you configure them once and they don't change so often. And the default value, let us provide the username and the password. Click OK. Now, since this is a GUI automation, search for the Start Browser step. Drag and drop a Start Browser. Let us configure the Start Browser step. I will leave the step name as it is. I will use Google Chrome. Provide the Automation Edge web URL. In my case, it is on the local host. I am not concerned about a default directory now. Maximize browser window. It is a start node and I want to clear all open browser instances related to GUI automation and notify on browser version change. Now you have different options of page load, timeout and overall delay in milliseconds for the workflow and retry count. I will just provide the overall delay so that it will take care of the page load timeout as well. I just want to try it once. Click OK. Next, search for the get variable step and drag and drop it on the canvas. We will use it to get the variables that we defined in the workflow earlier. We just want to get the a login username and the a login password. Provide suitable field names. Click OK. After this, I will use the GUI spy to build the next steps of the workflow. So I'll go to the tools spy and I will start the GUI spy. In the GUI Spy, I want to go to the Automation Edge URL. And in my case, it's only a web automation. So I can keep both the check marks for web and windows as it is, or I can just restrict it to web automation. So let me do that. And my browser is Google Chrome. I can click Go. It has opened the Automation Edge login page. Now you can also see the Web Spy toolbar. Now I want to capture the fields. So let me click on the Spy to start spying. First of all, I want to spy the username. So hover over the username and press the back tick to open the attributes window. Now I want to create a web composite step and it's a new step and I want to set the value because I want to log in into Automation Edge. So I want to set the username and I want to set the value as the A login username. You can set it as the parameter or we can also provide it as a field value later on. And I want to use the XPath, as you can see in the window above. Click Generate. So you can see that it has created a composite step in Process Studio. Let us go back to the web page. Now I want to hover the password. Click the back tick again. It opens the attributes for the password. Uh, once again, it's a composite step. And this time it is not new. I want to use the existing composite step that was just created. And I want to set value again. And the value I can set now as a parameter. Or since we use the get variable step, we can provide it as a field later on. So let me leave it blank and generate. So it is added to the web composite. Now the next is I want to click on sign in. So let me hover on the sign in. Let me back tick again. It opens the attributes for sign in. I want to use the same web composite step. And this time I want to click and I want to use the X path. So let me click generate. Now once I log in, let me just log in. Click sign in. This time I want to click on the requests menu. So I'm hovering over the requests menu and I will click the back tick. And on the same web composite step, I want to wait until element present and generate. And after that, I want to click and once again generate. So that completes our spying for the moment, let me stop spying. Let me go back on Process Studio. Let us check the web composite step. Uh, yes, so set the username password. I had provided a parameter, but we can use the fields that we have created, username and password. And for clicking the sign in, web wait until element present for the requests menu and, and clicking the requests menu. Let us provide a delay in milliseconds. Click OK. Now let's actually go to the requests menu we can see the requests table scroll down a bit start spying 
and select the table scroll bar or somewhere near the scroll bar you can see the table is selected click the back tick to get the attributes window on the attributes window we want a single step this time and we want the web loop table to loop through each record and store it click generate now you can stop spying the web loop table always comes with a continue loop step let us configure the web loop table now I'm back in automation edge UI I want to store the ID workflow name and status in the text file so while configuring the web loop table I want to get the column index 0 1 and 2 and I want to store them as ID workflow name and status and in the loop tab I want it to be a conditional loop so I'll leave this checked and the condition is click OK let me click it again now in the condition ID workflow and status are visible as fields where status is equal to the value should be complete so I want to retrieve the first three columns of the requests table where the status is complete click OK now drag and drop a text file output step after the web loop table connect the web loop table to the text file output with the condition true so that if there are rows coming in it will store in the text file and continue the true path to the continue loop search for the exit browser drag and drop an exit browser step so that when the web loop table has read all the records then it goes to the exit browser with the condition false let us configure the text file output we will store the file in the current workflow directory that is internal entry current directory with the name web loop table dump and the extension is txt in the content tab we will up keep appending rows to the file and in the fields tab you can leave it blank to get all the fields from the row or click get fields now I want to store only the table columns that is ID workflow name and status so click OK the workflow is complete you can save the workflow you can close your spy toolbar confirm closing it also closes the spy browser let us run the workflow it is opening the browser it has opened automation edge login it has logged into the automation edge UI it has clicked on the requests menu now it's fetching the table records uh, it has completed the workflow let us review the data in the web loop table you can see that it has fetched the table records with status complete and also stored in the text file output let us view the contents of the text file output let us open the text file you can see it has stored all the records with the status complete on the first page in the requests menu you can also create one more loop outside the web loop table to browse through all the pages or a certain number of pages in the requests menu and to fetch all those records we saw how to fetch table records with the web loop table step thank you for watching